What up crew? This is a series called Quick Tips and Tricks to show you some little helpful lessons that I've figured out. Let's do it. So I enjoy using programs from Vectric like Aspire, Photo VCarve, and Cut 2D Pro, but I couldn't find Easel from Inventables on the post-processor settings. But let me show you how to add it. So here I just created a circle in Cut 2D Pro, and if we go into our post-processor, we can see that there are many different types of settings, and a standard G-code could work for most machines, but there's no easel option. So what we have to do is go into easel under import and then click on G-code. This will bring up the different CAM programs where we'll download the easel post processor for Vetric. We then find that folder in our downloads and put it onto the side. In another window, open up your program data and then go to Vetric, and then go on to whatever program you're using. Now you can go into post P and see all the options like we had before. But if you're like me and only using easel for all of your carves, you can actually go into my post P and then bring up the file over there. This will make things really simple. Let me show you. We have to close cut 2D Pro and then open it up for the processor to be added. So I'll just create another circle as a demonstration. And when we go under our post processor now, we only have easel and don't need to see any of the others we won't use because they're not in my post P files. We can then save the toolpath and it saves as a .nc, which is the type that easel likes to read. We can just open it up and there it is. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and if you have any other ideas, feel free to let me know. Happy carving!